Hi everyone. So for today's video, it's going to be um, a GeoGuessr, but with the New York Times style game where they selected 10,000 American neighborhoods at random. And could you guess how many people, how people there voted? Most people there in the 2020 election, would they prefer Biden or would they prefer Trump? So I'm going to do it and see how well I do in this first round here. This is Biden territory, hands down. Mm-hmm. New Jersey. Okay. This should be California. But, well, you know what? I still say it's Biden. Yep, it's California. Biden. Okay, two for two. Let's see if we can keep that trend going. Okay, so we are what appears to be very rural. So um, I'm going to go with Trump. Yep, Brevard, North Carolina. Well, I'm at 36 points. Okay, so this here. Businesses that I think told businesses. Florida. Oh, there's no front license plates. I really think this is Biden. Wow. Well, at least I got it correct though. But that was a really close margin for Biden there but he did take the victory there okay so ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness I feel like this could go either Hmm. Let me get front plates. <sighs> I'm initially was laying thinking this is Biden, hands down. Uh, the more I study it, though, I'm seeing things that I think could be Trump. <sighs> this is probably going to be my first losing round. Either way, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised. But I think actually, um, I think I'm going to go with Biden. Okay, thank goodness. So just north of San Francisco. Okay. So, so far we're five for five. This, Trump. Really? Okay, I should have really gave it more luck. <laughs> um, for some reason, I was thinking it was a small kind of town vibe it was giving me. I mean, I really should have gave it more luck. But that's what I get for guessing first and just immediately going with what I think. Um, so I'm five for six, which could have done better. This looks more rural, suburban. I want to go with Trump again here. Nope. But only 42% of players have got it, so there's people that were definitely more New York plates. This is, this is Biden territory. Really? So, there's an area around Brooklyn that was Trump one? Really? <sighs> See, I mean, 15% of people guess this right. Like, come on, look at it. Like, it is so urban and it's clearly NYC, and it's like anybody would have got guessed. I think most people would have guessed Biden on that. Oh, well, let's go next here. 
so suburban. No front plates. Um, I'm feeling pretty comfortable saying Trump here. Okay. So I'm six for nine. Ooh. This is California, why do they keep throwing that at me? I think Biden. Hmm. Okay. So you couldn't keep that good streak going. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So 11 questions to go. I feel like a lot of this game you're stereotyping people. Um. I'm leaning Trump here. Hmm. Okay. I'm, getting, I'm tired of these California rounds. Like, I'm literally like, no, I'm done with you. Please stop. Like, I'm, I'm literally done with you. Like, please stop. This is gonna, I'm I'm going to go with Biden here. I think it's too close to the city. Yep. Can we get out of California, please? Like, okay, we're out of Cali. Hmm. It's kind of a cute, quaint neighborhood here. But it could be... Hmm. This seems northeastern. I'm gonna go with Trump though. Okay. Ah, oh, that was terrible. What is this? <laughs> if this is wrong, I give up, Trump. Really? It's these, these California rounds are throwing me off, and this doesn't even look like Cali to me, but I guess it is. So, new house going up, these are million dollar mansions, oh my goodness. Oh boy, this is tough, but I feel very, very suburban rural. Um, I don't know. Trump. Let's just go with it. Okay. Um, this is a lot harder than it actually looks like. Um, I think we do some, a lot of stereotyping when it comes to how people voted in the election. Assuming people from, let's say a hardcore Republican state like, um, Wyoming all voted for Trump, and then we're assuming like a hardcore Democrat state like California all voted for Biden, and clearly these California rounds are tripping me up. You know, and even New York, like an area in Brooklyn actually went Trump, which was to me the most surprising of all. But I feel like this just kind of gets how we stereotype people in America when there's a general basis, but it's not the rule. And this, to me, seems very Trump territory. Seems very suburban, maybe like Midwestern suburban. And I actually think that's an Indiana plate. So we're going to go Trump. I was right. That was an Indiana plate. Okay. So that's a stereotype that we give. And that one ended up being correct. And this looks... Oh. Hmm. Again, initial thoughts, I'm going to go with Trump. Okay, here we have an old barn, so 
I definitely really want to go with Trump here. So yeah, okay. Easiest stereotype there. But when you get to the, some of the suburban areas, it's a little harder. When you can tell you're pretty rural or you're pretty urban, you can kind of do some assumptions here like this automatically. I'm going to go with Biden because of the urban. It's totally very um, inner city urban. So, you know, Philly, yep. Yeah. Biden, easy. That's what I was thinking, like more northeastern type. So I'm ten for eighteen. This is southern, and this seems more rural, definitely for sure. Um, Trump. Mhm. Mm Wasn't gonna guess Texas. I was thinking more Georgia, Louisiana, southern, but I. It, Got it, though. Um. This is Eastern, and this is Trump. <laughs> I didn't want to go off state, but yeah, definitely West Virginia was one possibility I was thinking of for states. Now... These are the rounds that kind of trip me. Because, like, I feel like, it, because of the water towers here, I'm thinking smaller town here. But when you see it, this, can you really 100% go to small town? But this one right here, I'm pretty confident is going to be a Trump. But again, because of how tricky some of the rounds have been, I wouldn't be completely blown off or thrown off from a Biden. But these water towers, I swear, this isn't Ms. isn't Ms. Western, um, per se, but these water towers are so Midwestern characteristic. Trump, okay. So, 13 for 21. I don't want to sign in the New York Times there, hold on. Not bad at all. So, I'm in the top 75%. Which, which score between 50. So I got 62%. So, you know, this, the California rounds really trick me because then I get to the point where I'm sure something's Biden and then it's Trump and vice versa. Um, this just goes to show the political climate in America. It's, you know, you can assume and stereotype stuff because this is what we do and typically... When you go rural and mostly suburban, you're looking at Trump, Republican. And then when you go more urban, you're looking at more Democrat or Biden. But there's definitely exceptions to that rule. As, you know, I saw just in this round here. Um, so I, I mean, I got over half, but I would love to have got more. Um, but it's just showing you, and this game is super fun. It's available from on the New York Times website and play it as much as you want. Um, over time, it won't show you results if you play it too much. But yeah, this is a pretty interactive uh, game. It's basically kind of reminds me a lot like GeoGuessr. Um, but it's based on the New York Times website. So again, I thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all this way through the end of the video. Um, leave a comment down below. And do you actually think that we in America, we unfairly judge people by based on where they live? Um, just because you live in California, there are Republicans there. You know, just because you live in, say, Wyoming, there are Democrats there, vice versa. Um, so the geography, where you live, um, I feel like has a decent basis on how you vote, as shown. That's some hardcore rules, but that's definitely not the rule. Yeah, you know, there's definitely exceptions to that. But again, I thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel for more great content. Thanks so much.